All right, Harvest Moon. Give me the power of Neil Young. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Come a little bit closer Hear what I have to say Just like children sleeping We could dream this night away But there's a full moon rising Let's go dancing in the light We know where the music's playing Let's go out and feel the night Because I'm still in love with you I want to see you dance again Because I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon Hey friends, what's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and today I'm going to show you how to pick up your guitar and play Harvest Moon by Neil Young. This song is an absolute treasure. I heard it years ago, never really sunk its claws into me, but a few weeks ago it did. And uh, once that bug bites you, you live with the sting, as Jimmy Buffett once said, and uh, had to learn the song. It's been a joy to learn it, and I'm excited to make this lesson because I think this is like a really peak music learning experience for me. Not that I am the best performer of this song, but just being able to play it, it reminds me of why I started learning guitar in the first place. But enough talky talk, let's get to that lesson, all right? So first up, reminder, as always, everything I'm about to show you, you can check out on my website, playsongnotes.com. All the tabs, all the write-ups, all the chords, the lyrics. If you want to print it out, if you want to access it outside of this video, check that out, okay? But otherwise, let's get into this lesson, okay? So what do you need to know? Uh, number one is this song is in drop D tuning. And what that means is if you're in standard tuning, you need to tune your lowest string down one whole step to a D. So the best way to do that is to pluck the fourth string and use that as your guide. And then you're gonna tune the lowest string down until they match. See how they're resonating right there? Not resonating. Not resonating. Just right, okay? And if you have a tuner, use a tuner. I'll turn mine on right here. Perfect, man, that was lucky. Okay, so drop D tuning. What this lets you do is play a D chord like that, okay? So, so there's about four parts to this song and uh, I'm gonna show you the tabs and the strumming for each part. But note, for this lesson, there's a lot of just nuance that Neil Young has with all his playing. You wanna have a steady strum, a light strum. You don't wanna be hammering away. Your strumming pattern is going to deviate a little bit here and there based on the part of the song, based on the singing. And it's really hard to really teach this because there's such a subtle power to Neil Young and that nuance that you can't necessarily muscle your way through it, okay? There's a lot of grace there. So to keep that in mind, if you don't really get something, watch the lesson again. Watch other lessons that are on YouTube for this song. Listen to Neil Young play it and really just play yourself and then you're going to kind of align with what you want yourself to sound like and what Neil Young sounds like and then you can kind of get those together um, when you're lucky and it, and it feels good. All right, so let's kick things off by looking at this first riff you play. If you're up here on the uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th frets, you're going to be using about two or three fingers. So it's nothing too crazy going on. But again, the hard part about this is getting that nuance because you don't want to just hammer away the strings. You want to have some grace there. So the goal is to do this. Okay, so what am I doing there? There's three chord shapes you'll need, okay? So the first one is this. The second one is this. Adding, a, adding one additional finger. The third one is this. Okay, so let's talk about these. Now, you have some options as far as what fingers you use. I like to use my middle finger on this 
G string, 11th fret. Then you want to do uh, a finger on the 10th fret of the B string. So those are the only two notes you're pushing down. Every other string is open. Okay? Second chord is same exact thing, but put down your pinky. On the 12th fret of the B string, so... Practice this. Make sure you can do this cleanly. Okay? And then bring in the open strings. Make sure the high E string is ringing for both chords. So those are the first two chords. And the third chord you'll need is this. It's um, 9, 10, 11 on the high E, on the B, and on the G string. Okay? Now I'm going to talk about strumming pattern in a second, but I will note that you have options for which fingers you use. Now I use index and middle on the first chord. I add my pinky for the second chord, and then I do index middle ring on the third chord. Another big way to play these is to do middle and ring on the first chord, pinky for the third second chord, and then you just lift your pinky up, put your index down for the third chord. So the benefit of this way is your middle and your ring are staying exactly still for the whole thing. You can do it this way if you like. I don't prefer to do it this way because I find that it's a bit restricting and I like to have things opened up a bit. I like to sort of take my index and middle, point them, kind of arch them so they're coming straight at me, right? But they're kind of arched high away from the neck of the guitar. That's what I like to do, okay? Let's talk about strumming here. So I sort of arch them so they're clearing that high E string nicely. I have room to arch the pinky down, and then I can just lift everything up and then put it down for this third chord, okay? I just like the control and the nuance that that sort of affords me by playing it that way, but do what works for you, okay? So now for the strumming. Strumming is hard to teach here. Again, you wanna listen along, but generally you wanna do two strums on the first two chords, so. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, 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 up. Now, I said down, down, up, 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 right? There's a lot of other strums I'm sort of sneaking in there just by brushing the pick ever so gently. So again, this is more something you want to listen to and try yourself than just copy an exact rote strumming pattern, okay? I will say the key here is don't don't do all six strings crazily, okay? You want that nuance, you know? Another thing you can do that Neil Young does is he'll go between that first and second chord and he'll kind of flirt back and forth, so. And the way I'm putting my pinky down. Or you can put your pinky down and hold it. Or Again, listen along. Um, you gotta feel it for yourself and do what you like. There's no real strict way to do it, okay? But that's that beginning section. You're gonna need this for a lot of the songs, so, so get comfortable there, right? But let's get down to the other stuff, okay. All right, now let's move on to the second and third sections of this song. All right, now for these sections, you're gonna use more typical strumming. It's a bit more consistent. It's just down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, right? The first of these is from an E minor to a D. There's some flourish you can do with the D, but the, the core is the E minor, but in drop D tuning, you need to get the low E string with the second fret. So second, 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 open, open, open. Just like an A, but everything is moved towards the sky, a couple strings, and then a regular D, okay? So the simple way to do this would be, come a little bit closer, hear what I have to say, then D, okay? This is the simple way. Go back to the E minor. Just like children sleeping, we could dream this night away. Okay? However, what you're gonna do is for the D, you're gonna do this little riff. Okay? What's going on there? Well, for, I'll show you. You're going from a D 
to a D major 7, to an A, and then to an A sus4 with an F sharp in there. For the A, what you're doing, the key is you're barring the middle four strings, or the B string, G string, and D string with your index finger here. So open second, 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 open fourth, third, second. That's the sort of A to the A sus4 over the F sharp, right? But basically, in time, it sounds like this. Come a little bit closer, hear what I have to say. All right, for the third section of this song, uh, it's very similar to the prior one, but you have a new chord, you have a G. I play this by, in drop D tuning, you, have to, you can't do a regular G. You have to move your bass note of your thickest string to the fifth fret of the low E. I mute the A string just by draping my ring finger on it, right? Open, 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 third. So fifth, mute, open, 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 third. You could play fifth, fifth, open, 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 third. Same thing, right? Um, and then you're going to do the G for a couple measures, and you're going to go up to the D riff again, okay? So what that sounds like in context of the lyrics is... But there's a full moon rising Let's go out and dance in the light Then do the D, all right? Up here. Same thing as intro. We know where the music's playing Let's go out and feel the night Okay, and the last part of the song is this. Simplest part yet, right? A7, sus4, open, second, open, third, open. But I'm still in love with you to an A7. I want to see you dance again. Bring in the strumming. I'm still in love with you. On this harvest moon. Into the D riff. Okay, so again, for that um, E minor to D, and for the G, and for the A, and for that fourth section too, you're gonna, for that A7 part, you're really gonna use the same strumming as the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. And for that A7 part, you really wanna use the full strumming, so down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, That's what you need for the whole song. I hope this helped. Again, this is a tricky one because uh, the chord shapes are easy to teach, but hard to sort of communicate and convey. You just kind of have to play it yourself. And uh, I'm only so good. Neil Young is obviously a master, and I just, I, I at my best, I kind of stumble through it enough to hopefully convey it to you. So I hope this was helpful. But um, thanks again. Check out my website, playsongnotes.com, for all the notes and tabs for this lesson. Um, and if you uh, like this like this lesson, please subscribe. If you love this lesson and you're feeling generous, I have a tip jar on my website. If you want to throw a few bucks my way, it would be super, super appreciated. It helps support me in this crazy project where I teach uh, you to play the songs that I love. So I hope this was helpful for you. Again, I want you to pick up that guitar and play. This is David Potts. Have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>